What is up everybody? How are you guys doing? Hello, hi, I am Zombie Chris. And if you are new to the channel, what we do is we cover everything from horror to short films, as well as any kind of Florida, you know, vlogs, adventures that occasionally are sprinkled here on the channel. And seeming that we are well into 2019, can't believe it's here. We have a full year of horror. In today's video, we are going to take a look at some of the movies, as well as I'm going to be giving you my top five most anticipated horror releases this year. Cue the intro. So before we get to the upcoming releases, I want to give a special shout out to Girly Gore as well as Gabby for the idea for this video talking about 2019 and some of the movies they are anticipating. Definitely check out theirs. Links will be down in the description box as well as at the end of the video. So definitely check out their stuff. I think you'll love what you see. So last year was very interesting for horror. We had a lot of, I want to say VOD releases as opposed to a lot of bigger theater releases as far as, you know, horror in my opinion. Um, Netflix had some good stuff going on. So it's going to be really interesting with this year. We have a lot of remakes, reboots. Uh, let's take a look at some of these releases. Escape Room already kind of came out. It has some mixed reviews. We have Glass is coming out. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, there's apparently a Jacob's Ladder remake. Didn't really know that was going on. That's a thing. The Prodigy, I kind of skipped looking at that trailer. Um, Darren Lynn Bowsman is coming back to horror. I've kind of missed him for a while. Uh, he is doing St. Athaga. I think I'm saying that wrong. St. Athaga. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, but if you don't know who Darren is, he's the guy that brought us pretty much, I think, the best of the Saw movies. He brought us Saw 2, 3, and 4. Um, as also Repo, the genetic opera, which I really enjoy that one as well. Um, Happy Death Day already did a trailer reaction for the first trailer they released on that one hopefully it's good um pet cemetery is coming out so that's a part of the wave of remakes and reboots we have for this year as well as hellboy is coming back it's it's going to be a weird year for horror uh we have the curse of la la reina um finally they're you know diving into something other than what we've seen before with you know annabelle or uh, the insidious or the conjuring i'm excited to see how this movie is going to be doing uh, we also have bright burn which a lot of people are really excited for that one godzilla movie looks awesome uh, child's play i'm not quite sure since we haven't gotten a trailer on that one but it's a reboot hopefully it's good um, the Grudge is actually getting a remake. Didn't know that one, or maybe if I did know, I forgot. Uh, Annabelle 3, I don't know why. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark is actually getting a movie release. Kind of shocking. Um, hopefully that's gonna be really, really good. Yeah, uh, I think that is it. And I'm probably leaving out some big ones, you're probably asking yourself. And that is because they are on my top five most anticipated horror releases of 2019. So without further ado, let's get to the list. All right, so coming in at number five is The Lighthouse, which does not have a release date quite yet. Now, the reason why this movie makes the list is it is from the same guy who did The Witch. 
And if you've seen that movie, you know he has a certain style for horror. And with this one, we don't really know very much about it. All we know is that it is The Lighthouse. It's creepy. Um, it's starring Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattons. Pattons? I'm just gonna keep saying Robert. You, you know what I'm talking about, the guy from, you know, Harry Potter. But it's black and white, and they actually use some very old equipment. I think from the 1940s, they use equipment to record it, and camera lenses from the 1920s, which is really, really crazy. I've never seen anything done like that as far as in horror, as well as this is a period piece movie. I think it's set in 1890. And uh, Robert said in, in an interview that he wanted to punch the director in the face is how grueling this like production of this movie was. So should be really interesting. It is going to be three from hell. Yes, they are back to do damage. I'm excited to see if this is going to really sell this movie apart from The Devil's Rejects because that movie was so phenomenal. I'm, I'm hoping this is a great follow up to that. Uh, next we have It Chapter 2 doesn't really need to be explained. It's, it's probably going to be amazing. Yeah. Coming in at number two is Zombieland 2. I am a big, big, big fan of Zombieland. I love that movie. I watch it still to today and I still laugh. The fact that they have the whole cast back. They just talked about Bill Murray as cast in this one as far as Dan Aykroyd as cast in this one. Should be fantastic. Uh, and number one, Jordan Peele, Us. Shouldn't be anything to explain about that one. Uh, yeah. And that has been my most anticipated horror releases of 2019. Should be a really interesting year and that's not even including anything like Netflix has in the pipeline to be released. Nothing as far as VOD releases. Uh, anything that you guys are looking forward to for 2019 as far as horror, leave it down in the description box as well as leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you like what you see. We do these videos every single week. We have new videos on the channel as well as check out Gory Girl and Gabby's video. They will be right at the end of this video. That's it. Until the next video, love you guys. Adios. Zombie Chris, out of here.